it's time to solve the camera. But don't forget that we also have a zoom involved in this shot. So we need to set up the camera solver node in a specific way. So let's see how to do that. In the camera solver, which we need to connect here, we're going to do some changes and some work before we click on the solve camera. Now we need to indicate to PF track from which frame to which frame the zoom is taking place. And we already established in the previous videos that the zoom is taking place as of frame 150. If I go to the solver and I see that by default PF track is programmed to set initial frames automatically, I can tell PF track to set up initial frames from frame 0 to frame 150. We can say that the focal range can be a variable focal. And since we have initial frames inserted manually, now we can go to the bottom of the camera 01 tab and say constant focal length between initial frames. And if I go into the constraints, I can click on create and it's going to be a plane constraint. So I'm going to select the marquee tool and then I'm going to select these two trackers holding the command or control on the keyboard gonna select these trackers here and here and I'm gonna click on the constraint and I'm gonna click on add to so now I have those trackers added to the plane constraint I can click on solve all so PF track is going through all the 2d information and it's trying to solve the camera so once we click on solve all then we're gonna have under the curve editor of the camera we're gonna see the focal length as you can see how the focal length changes the translation and rotation they might need a little bit of smoothing you also want to activate the estimate under the distortion and if we look at the errors we see that now our errors are somewhat low but we do have still a few trackers that do give us some grief so if I select those trackers and I go here I have the option either to deactivate them or change the weight and the weight means that they're going to participate in the solution but their influence on the camera is going to be based on the weight that I'm going to determine they're going to have. So if I'm going to click on deactivate and then look at the errors again there's two more trackers here going back to the trackers deactivate and now I'm going to either refine all or solve all. Let's click on the solve all. So the solve itself start off with the camera working properly and then the camera stops and you can see in the 3D space how it zooms in and stays in place almost. That's great. If we go back to the air tab and click on fit view, we still have a few trackers that do give us some grief. So after deactivating some trackers, I can click on the trim and let's lower this to about two. And in here I can click on refine all. So now my results seems to be more improved and I can continue forward. So we saw how to set up the camera solver in a specific way in order to accommodate the zoom that is involved in this shot. Now it's time to do the orient scene and export into Maya. So let's jump into the next video and see how to do that.